family members, friends, and well wishers gathered at the Nero Psychiatric Hospital in Apeputa to receive the body of the late military administrator, befitting of a renowned icon, they took the body through the major streets of Abelkuta to the Oke Agawu Palace of the Olugu of Owu Kingdom for lying in the state. The body thereafter left Oke Agawu for its route at Ile Oju Abere and Oluruko Palace near Ogbe Abelkuta, the community where the disease grew up to allow the extended family members to pay their last respects and thereafter arrive at church, CCC Ibarra headquarters. Pala here was a, a very a fantastic military officer, uh, a very easygoing person. You know, that you would not even know that he was a military officer and he uh, was very humble. Uh, uh, the legacy he left behind, uh, I, I, I don't think anybody can, uh, can, can surpass what he has done because uh, he laid a very good legacy which all of us are just trying to emulate. He has done so well, he worked tirelessly, he died in active service in a working club. General, as you wish to call him, but in the church, he's a superior senior evangelist. Now, in fact, as the shepherd in charge of this parish, I was thinking of who to wear the shoe of Okpaleye. Dignitaries, including the deputy governor of Ondo State, Olaide Adelami, former Ogun State governor Ibikule Amosun, and others, later converge on the diseased residents for the evening of tributes and Christian Week program. He left a mark in Ondo State, which still lives on till today. He was very thorough. The late Major General Ekundayo of Palaye, who was applauded for his humility, generosity, and exceptional service to humanity, served as the military administrator of the old Ondo state between 1988 and 89. He was the Balogun Erumu of the old kingdom, the position he held before joining the Saints Triumphant at the age of 77. In the Belkuta, he had meted him. Enter this.